Hello and welcome once again to my show. Uh, we're going to do a little something different today. I'm here with Mr. Eddie Siafi. He's the owner of Eddie Spaghetti Sauce. We're going to make some spaghetti sauce today. Right, Ed? Yes, sir. And we got some, uh, we got some dry sherry, just a little bit, and just a little bit of uh, vodka for the vodka sauce. Yeah, we use cheap vodka. Cheap vodka. So let's get this going. Stay tuned. That 1984 or 83. That's. I'm chopping onions. Yeah, chop some onions That is a serious onion chopping machine. I'm getting ready to chop some onions. Chopper, and the chopper is going to um, it's going to chop everything up, so we don't need this mess with it. And then that's why I have the garbage can here. Let's cut it in half. Yeah, cut it in half, and, and then we'll. So I, what I try to do is to make it speedy. I'll cut them in half. Cut the ends off. And then, uh, and then we're going to peel them so that, uh, and then we can get rid of the scrap. Okay. Um, for the formula to go to the next level of taking it to a contract contract manufacturer. The contract manufacturer requires um, requires us to uh, give it everything in ounces and and weight like that, not cups and stuff. So when we do this, so uh, turning the ounces down like this keeps you from crying. Yeah, oh, I never knew that. I learned something today. So let me get a rag on. Okay, so the chopped onions go in this buffalo chopper. Right. That thing's got a wicked blade on it. Yeah. This is like a. It's a little different than a than a. Uh, uh, what are they? A little hand food. food yeah, things. like a food processor. Yeah, a little different than a food processor. And I'll, I'll show you the food processor on steroids. It's over on the other side. Okay. Um, so here we go with the buffalo chopper. What an education I'm getting today. Okay. That's amazing. That's the way to chop onions right there. Okay, so we got two cups of olive oil in the big commercial pot. Next goes our onions. Okay, we're going in with the garlic now. Look at that garlic. Doesn't that look good? About two and a half pounds of garlic. Two and a half pounds of garlic. You gotta love garlic. If you don't love garlic, you're not Italian. Okay, that's about a half a bottle of uh, dry sherry going in there. Is that all you're gonna use? You can use more. That's it. Clean it nice. Okay, so here's another half a bottle of dry sherry. Oh. A whole bottle of dry sherry, excuse me. Oh man, does that smell good already? Yeah, you're gonna get high coming off of it. Oh boy. <laughs> Stick your face in that free basing <laughs> steaming. I'm free basing <laughs> sherry. So 
my next job is to chop up some basil, right? Right. Pull the stems off. Yeah. I'm gonna take the stems off these and it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, the little stems I don't worry about. But the big ones, that I don't think they get they may be white for the red and red. Oh that basil smells good. Yeah, there's an awful lot of basil. Fresh basil, lots of it. Basil Maniac. So we gotta open up all those cans of tomatoes with the sauce while I finish up the basil. These are uh, called Echelon brand tomatoes. Echelon brand tomatoes. Six in one all purpose ground tomatoes. It's a, it's a premium tomato. Premium tomato. It's, it's Heinz. It's best, uh, Best tomato. Okay, Heinz best tomato. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, there's a lot of cans of tomato right there. That's all I gotta tell you. Alright, we've started to pour the sauce into the big pot. This is Danielle, she's pouring in the sauce. She's the president of Eddie's Spaghetti. So all those tomatoes gotta go in that big old pot. The sauce is really coming along looking great. We got some more ingredients to add. We've already put the spices in but Eddie won't let me show you what spices he uses. That's a proprietary blend. But man does that smell good. Check out that spaghetti sauce. That's from funky spaghetti sauce right there. Alright we're going in with the basil. Chopped basil. I couldn't tell you how much it is. It's a lot. Boy, does that smell good. Got another one just like that coming. And our sauce is starting to really come along. I took a taste of it, it's amazing. All right, that's what I call tomato basil right there. Get a close-up of that sauce bubbling away in there. Doesn't that look good? Oh man, it's awesome. So how long do we have to cook this, Daniel? In total, it's going to cook for a couple of hours. We cook the base as we continue to add ingredients, and then we just have to bring it up to 160 degrees. Uh, okay. That's the that's the sanitation temperature, so we know that uh, it'll keep fresh and not kill anyone. Okay, awesome. We don't want to kill anyone. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Eddie's taking some of the tomato basil sauce and transferring it over to uh, some smaller pots that we're going to use to make the vodka sauce with. So we use the tomato basil sauce as a base and add vodka and cream to that to make the vodka sauce. Alright, we're going in with the vodka. Check it out. That's it's, enough happy. it's enough vodka to make anybody happy. Those are, I don't know, I think they're two liter bottles of vodka. And he's going to put two in each pot, or one in each pot. So that's the vodka sauce, that's part of it. That will let the alcohol burn off. Let the alcohol burn off and then add some cream. Grade A cream. Most cream is only like 30%. So this is extra heavy cream. So getting ready to pour the cream into the vodka sauce. Okay, it's 
time for the cream and the vodka sauce. That 40% cream is amazing. About, put about two and a half quarts in each pot. So that's one quart in each pot. Wow, that's some beautiful cream. Get that cream mixed up, and all that's left is to cook down that vodka sauce. And uh, we're going to continue to cook the tomato basil sauce. That's going to be the end of it. Adding more cream to the vodka sauce, what a beautiful color that sauce is. A beautiful, silky, smooth vodka sauce. That stuff's awesome. Alright, that stuff's been cooking. It's done cooking. Time to put it into some five-gallon buckets. The five-gallon buckets will be rolled into the walk-in freezer and they'll cool off till tomorrow. And then tomorrow, while well, we're getting some uh, steam on the lens there if that stuff's hot. Anyway, tomorrow that'll get uh, processed up and put into the packages for resale. Well, that's it. There's the upshot. The fruits of our labors, if you will. This is Eddie Spaghetti's tomato vodka sauce. And this is Eddie Spaghetti's tomato basil sauce. And uh, this is the, the packages that Eddie packages his sauces into with his story on the back. And uh, you saw how it was made, and I helped. I helped, just like the little girl in the annoying commercials, I helped. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you want to get some Eddie Spaghetti sauce and you live in South Florida, you can go down to Milam's Market in Coconut Grove, and you better hurry because it's flying off the shelves, let me tell you what. Uh, it's fresh, never frozen, no preservatives, tomato vodka, and tomato basil sauce. You got to check it out. You got to get down there and get some if you live around here. Uh, give it a try. So now you know how it's made. I want to thank Eddie and his daughter Danielle and his wife Peggy for letting me uh, be a part of this. And uh, yeah, that's it, babies. That's my video. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back on Friday for our regularly scheduled video. And in the meantime, rock on. Bye.